Welcome back to another video, guys. Fifth week in a row. What? I'm nailing this. Holy. Today's video is a Q&A. So, yesterday, I posted this story right here on my Instagram where I asked you guys to send me questions that you would like me to answer in a Q&A. So that's what we're gonna do today. And I have your questions here on my iPad. So we're gonna read some of them and I'm gonna answer. Yeah, there were a lot of questions as you could see. Uh, these aren't all of them. These are the ones I picked out. I'm sorry if your question is not answered, but there will be part two. So if you want to be in the next one, just keep an eye out for my story on Instagram because that's where I will be posting the question box next time as well. I think let's just get started. I'm gonna turn it... which way? This way. So then the questions can be there and I can be here. Okay, first up. What is your kitten's name? It's very cute. Uh, his name is Igor sleeping there well he's not sleeping he's obviously looking at the camera he's so cute but yeah his name is igor and that was the first question a few people asked it so i'm gonna put all of those people there <laughs> favorite thing you crocheted the favorite thing that i've crocheted Oof, i don't know that's hard because i love all the flowers that i've made i think they're very cute and then i also like all of the plushies because i think they are also super cute it's hard to pick a favorite because i can't pick one thing that i like more than others that's very hard for me with anything like i don't even have a favorite song because i don't like one thing better than i like others how old are you i am 18 years old as of october the 12th 2023 uh so yeah i'm 18 i'm turning 19 this year crazy nile or harry See, I was confused by this. What do you mean, Niall or Harry? How am I supposed to pick between my boys? I cannot do that. Okay, thanks for the question. Next one. Do you know Spanish or how many words do you know in Spanish? I don't know Spanish. I get asked this quite a lot, like in my DMs or in my comments. Um, I don't speak it, but when I reply to people, I use the translate feature. Both Instagram and TikTok has a translate feature, so I can see what they commented, even if it's Spanish. I don't know many words. I know like fuego, naranja, um, gato. Yeah, those come to mind. <laughs> Soy Batman. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know a lot of Spanish. I've picked up on some of it. Like, I, I also know eres, like, that's kind of like is, you know? So I know some but I don't, I couldn't have a conversation with you because I don't know enough. <laughs> How did you start creating edits? This is a fun story. In 2019, I made my fan account. It was called Lovable Aiden Edits or something. <laughs> and I was making photo edits. Like I would edit a photo and I would have like spirals around it or something. And then I would post that onto Instagram and I would, big stretch and other people would like my content yeah so other people would follow me and i would follow them i saw that they made edits so then i was like that's so cool i want to learn how to do that because <sighs> that that's fine he's so cute so yeah i decided to make edits because i saw that other people were doing it and that's it what is your favorite color i have an example this phone case is like perfect to represent my favorite color. I love like this sage green. It's like so calm. I don't know, maybe you would call it olive green. My wall is also green. Look at him. You wanna be here, don't you? You love me. Mm. I love you. Bro does not want to be here. This is my favorite color, pretty much. I think that's like the only thing I have a favorite of is a color. Oh, and my favorite song. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I just mentioned, I have no idea. I love so many songs. So many songs I think are incredible. I cannot pick. 
Would you ever come to the US so we can have a sleepover? Yes, Kenley, I would love that. Uh, but yeah, I am planning to go there. I have a lot of friends that I would love to meet. So it's in the future plans. Would you ever like to come to Mexico? Same answer. Yes, I would love to. I have wonderful friends there that I would be so excited to visit. So also in my future plans. Is having a YouTube channel fun? Oh my God, it's so fun. It's so fun. I love it, it's great. Every time that I'm doing the premieres with you guys, you're there chatting and I am also there chatting and we're just talking together and having fun and commenting about what's happening in the video at that time. So I hope somebody's doing that. Like right now it's like, oh my God, that's what we're doing right now. You know, premiere style. It's so fun. I love it. When I see people leaving comments, I'm like, ah, ah, oh my God. Yes. It's very fun. What's the cutest thing Igor did for you? Very fun when I like meet him outside somewhere uh, and he'll like chase me. It's so fun. <laughs> he, and he also often comes and sits beside me in whatever chair I'm in. What are your top movies? Ones you want to rewatch another hundred times. Avatar The Way of Water, Tangled. I like re-watching Disney movies. I think that's fun and cozy. Also Avatar 1, of course. I think the Avatar movies are so beautiful. So those, I guess. <laughs> what is the hardest part of editing? It's literally to find the song. Or for me right now, I don't know who I want to edit. And it's like, what do I edit? Like I don't have a song. I don't have a person or a show. I don't know what to do. That's the hardest part. I think the editing itself, for me, really easy and fun. I enjoy that part, but getting prepared to make the edit is the hardest. <laughs> Do you plan to have more cats? For sure. I love cats, they're so cute. But for the time being, I'm just gonna stick to that little void that you saw because he is my baby and he will always be my baby. And I think he enjoys being by himself. So I don't think we'll have another with him, you know? <laughs> Next one. How does it feel to meet your favorite artists? Example, Harry and Louie. Well, I have not met Harry or Louie, so I cannot tell you. Oh, wait, you mean like seeing them in concert? I've seen them both. Ah, I've seen Louie twice. That feels great. It's the best feeling going to their concert and being in front of them like you are there. It's great, it's incredible. And I love going to concerts like that for people that I personally am a fan of. It's an incredible feeling. Like I've been watching you for years and finally we're in the same room. What? Yeah, I really enjoy going to concerts, but I live really far from where people go. They go to Oslo and I live in the Bergen area, so. Have you ever wanted to dye your hair colorful? Fun fact, I have done that. I have had it pink, I've had it purple, I've had it blue and then green because blue goes to green. So, but at the moment I'm like terrified to ruin my hair. So no, I don't consider it at this time, but I have done it before, I have. What do you want to study? Well, exactly what I'm studying right now, which is like, chemistry kind of. I enjoy it a lot, but I'm not gonna study anymore. Like I'm finished when this school year is up. So I'm looking forward to that. Name five things you like to do most. Talk to my friends, play video games, watch reels or TikToks, <laughs> edit and watch TV series. Also crochet, <gasps> cuddle my cat. Okay, there's more than five things I really like to do. Yeah. Would you like to visit Brazil? Uh, yes. Yes, I would. I would love to. What is your favorite book? It's been a lot of years since I finished another book than My Policeman. So I think I have to say My Policeman because it's the only one I've finished in like the past five years and more actually. So My Policeman, yeah, great book. I enjoyed it. What's your favorite flower? I love sunflowers aren't they just so stunning like they're so big and extraordinary and gorgeous also the seeds 
mm, chef's kiss they taste so good a movie you think everyone should watch at least once okay i'm being so serious everybody has to watch avatar the way of water i know some people do not like the plot that's okay you don't have to like the plot but it's so visually impressive like it's all computer made it's not real and i think that's so fascinating because it just looks so real so even if you do not like the plot you would be able to appreciate the filmmaking in it <sighs> i'm so obsessed with avatar i've seen it two times this month <laughs> if you could travel anywhere where would you go to your living room <laughs> yeah what would you like to try in the future a lot of things i would like to try new food new experiences yeah i am excited for life and i am excited to have money to travel to get new experiences which country would you like to travel to a lot of countries I haven't been outside of Europe, so I think it would be fun to like go somewhere in Asia or North or South America. I would love to see like Japan and Tokyo. I would want to go everywhere, honestly. Ha! <laughs> Which movie you've seen the most this year? That would have to be Avatar The Way of Water. It literally is. I am obsessed with it. It's such a great movie. <gasps> I should get a poster for it! <laughs> if you were to a character, what would your power be? Uh, my power would literally be all the cats would want to be my best friends. And then I could like be like, hey kittens, attack that man. And then they would be like, ah, meow. My dream power. How is your 2024 so far? incredible it's been good really really busy like so busy that i'm very surprised that i've been able to post on this youtube channel so well done me uh but yeah it's been good it has do you like working out hey <laughs> no how's your cat well he is really good i hope um he doesn't talk human so i can only interpret his meows and stretches as yes, I'm good. Which films impressed you the most? What would you recommend to watch? Avatar The Way of Water. This beautiful masterpiece is my brain chemistry. Nothing is better than that. I would recommend it like so much. Everybody has to watch it. I know it's long. I know everybody's like, I don't have three hours to spare. Trust me, that's fine. You can watch one and a half and then one and a half. It's okay. Just watch it. Just watch it. It's so good. When did you get cutie little Igor baby? We got him May 31st, 2022. Oh, what a cute baby. Um, oh my god, here are photos of the day that we got him. He was so small. Oh my god, so tiny. Literally, what a baby. What's your favorite edit of yours? Hi guys, it's Editor Solis. I couldn't decide. I love so many of them. Um, so check my Insta and all of them, almost all of them will be my favorite. Okay. I don't know. I did this without even knowing. Editor Solis, you can decide. Yep. I like a lot of my edits. Some of them I'm not as impressed with, but I do like a lot of them. Your biggest pet peeve. Let me just check my notes because I have written this down before. Yeah, okay, I have a couple here. When people sit on my bed with clothes on. Outside clothes. They're not supposed to go on my bed. I sleep there. Stop, do not sit on my bed. <laughs> when socks from different pairs that look kind of the same for example, white socks are put together because they feel different. When one person sits in the four person part of the bus, like you could have taken a two seater, instead you're taking the four seater, stop. And also 
when people are playing songs on my Spotify when it's logged onto a TV because it messes with my Spotify wrapped and my stats. And those are my pet peeves, you guys. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? Right here. I love my home. I love it. What's your favorite game to play? Oh my god, I'm so happy that two people asked this. My favorite game is Polya. I am obsessed at the moment. Polya is a massive multiplayer world. It's so cute and it has an incredible story and yeah, it's great. I love Polya. Polya. Mwah. How long does it take you to edit a YouTube video? It can really vary depending on how much footage I have. <laughs> right now I'm on 30 minutes. Ugh. So this one is gonna take a while because I'm not even halfway with the questions. Uh, but when I have another video where I've only filmed like 20 minutes, that's gonna go relatively fast, maybe two to two and a half hours. But the cleaning my room with me video, I think took maybe like six or seven hours to edit because that turned out to be 25 minutes, but I had, I had a lot of footage. So yeah, it depends on how much footage I have, but it's definitely a long time. Anything from, I guess, two to seven hours, depending. If you had to listen to just one more song for the rest of your life, which one would you choose? Lights Up by Harry Styles. What a banger. Shine. Yeah. What would you do if you were invisible for 24 hours? If I like actually was invisible for 24 hours, I'd mess with people. Oh, I'd mess with people so bad. I would like make them think there was a ghost or something and then they'd be like terrified and I'd speak and they'd be like what the f who said that ah. yeah I would I would do that which fictional character do you most identify with oh there have been some but I don't remember like I have a goldfish brain it's a soup in here it's not a brain it's just a lot of frogs inside. Just frogs in a pond, not a brain. I don't know. <laughs> Are you in college? I'm not in college. I am in what we would call VGS in Norway. It's, I guess, high school, but it's not high school. Like it's different in Norway because you choose what you wanna do. And I don't think you do that for high school. Like I choose my, specific like area of expertise it's re it reminds me kind of of college but it's not really it's different so no it's not college what is your favorite show by the way i love you so much i love all your videos oh my god that's so nice of you thank you i'm happy you like them thank you for showing the support Mwah. my favorite show i do not know i watch a lot of shows but I really enjoyed Brooklyn Nine-Nine because it's like just my kind of comedy and it's like cozy and sitcoms like that. I really enjoy sitcoms. I'll say that, but I'm not saying it's my favorite show because I, I don't have a favorite, um, but it's one I really enjoy. It is. Who is your favorite character from the Umbrella Academy? Well, I guess it's like five. He's like the perfect mix of like sassy and doing it in a funny way. But that also brings me to Klaus. Like he's also like sassy and funny. I don't know. Klaus and Five are my favorites. How did you learn English so good? I don't know. I never tried to learn it. I kind of grew up with it. Like I don't remember ever trying to learn English. It just like happened. I guess it was like a good mix of playing video games. Actually I have my first ever video game thing here. I guess it's a mix of playing video games. This is my Game Boy. <laughs> a mix of playing games, watching YouTube, and having English lessons in school because we have English in school in Norway. I never tried, so I don't know. I just grew up with it, kind of. Would you like slash enjoy the most crochet or editing? 
I like them both in different ways, but I think the one that fulfills my creativity the most would be editing. So I definitely like editing more because I feel like I can be way more creative with it. And I don't know, I just, I like editing more kind of. I've done it longer. I know more about it. I feel creative when I'm doing it. And I also love being able to like share that with a lot of people because I have a lot of friends who are also editors. Hello, you guys. So it's definitely more of like a community feeling. I like editing more. I think I can pretty safely say. Is it true that the sun never rises for a few months in Norway? And what do you do in this case? That is true some places. Where I live, that doesn't happen. I live like kind of to the south of Norway. But if you go very high to the north of Norway, then yes, that is true. In the summer, the sun will never set. And in the winter, the sun will never rise. So crazy concept, but yeah, that is true. Are you 100% Norwegian? I do think I am. I think so. I don't know anybody in my family who isn't from Norway. So if that's a thing, then I'm like kind of surprised actually. But I think I'm 100% Norwegian. I haven't done a test or anything, but I assume so. What is your favorite hobby? At the moment, it's playing Polya. I spend a lot of time playing Polya. I think it's such a fun game. It's so cozy. It's so cozy. What's your favorite album from Taylor Swift? I think maybe Lover. I don't know. I have a hard time with favorites. A lot of my favorites will like depend on the specific moment. Like what am I feeling right then and there? Like right now I'm kind of like in a calm and cozy mood. But if I'm in a really like energized mood, then I think it would be reputation, you know? What was your first edit? Oh my god, it's embarrassing, but here it is. Hashtag video start QR code core. Oh my god, it's be real. I'm gonna take my be real again. This happened in the last video as well. I do not like that edit. I think it's super embarrassing and I was not good. But that's that. We all start somewhere. Ooh. This question looks different because it was so long, it didn't fit in the regular text box. So I have to look at it like this. <laughs> I love your videos. I really fell in love with the beautiful crochets you made. I wanted to know what motivated you to make them. Thank you so much, first of all. That's so nice of you. I really like it when people take the time to let me know that they enjoy something that I make. Because it's like, ah. Oh, Oh my god uh, love you uh so what motivated me to make them was well i guess it's kind of like a tumble here firstly i knitted the harry styles cardigan and i thought it was very fun to knit that so then i knitted a blanket and then i went over to crochet because i felt like i could make more with crochet with knitting it was kind of just like squares and flat stuff like i didn't want to get into the different patterns so i got into crochet to be able to make more cute stuff not really any more motivation than that behind it how did you come up with a name for your cat do you have any other options it was inspired by Tyler, the creator's album. He has an album called Igor and he's my brother's cat. My brother likes Tyler, the creator. So yeah, that's it pretty much. Favorite two a season. Season two will always have a special place in my heart. I love you too, season two. But maybe this new one will be my favorite. I'm excited. What's your favorite thing you've knitted? The cardigan. I love the cardigan. It took a lot of time. I think it took me two months of constant work. So I'm proud of it. I'm really proud of it. Favorite sweets. Oh my god, guys. In Norway, we have these pears. Like, it's a pear candy. It looks like a pear and it's like gummy and it has some sugar around it. Nothing compares. It's so good. I'm in love with it. Favorite episode of Umbrella Academy. Really good question. Can I say season one, episode one, through season three, episode 10? Or is that cheating? Oh my god! And that was the last one of the ones I've picked out. That was great! Thank you to everybody who sent the question. Even if I didn't get the chance to read it out now, there will be a part two. 
do not worry. So thank you everybody who sent in questions and everybody who's here watching right now. I'm so happy you're here and I hope you'll be here next time as well. But until then, thank you for watching. I love you. Mwah! I will see you next time. Goodbye. I'm gonna wait. Like and subscribe, you guys. Like and subscribe.